St. Mary of Magdalene St. Mary of Magdalene, also called Mary of Magdala, was a very close disciple of Jesus and she was present at the foot of the cross on which Jesus was crucified as mentioned in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and John. She was also present when the holy body of Jesus was buried in the tomb by Joseph of Arimathea. She also went to the tomb of Jesus on the early morning of the third day of Jesus' death and found the tomb empty. In the tomb, it was informed to her by two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning that Jesus had resurrected. She immediately ran and informed St. Peter and St. John about the resurrection of Jesus. Mary Magdalene also followed the two apostles but reached the tomb later after the two apostles left the tomb. On reaching the tomb, she started weeping. Jesus standing behind her and asked, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She, thinking that the person must be the gardener, requested him to return the body of Jesus if he had taken it from there. Then Jesus said, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni. Jesus gave the rare privilege of appearing first to Mary Magdalene only after his resurrection. She got this privilege of meeting the resurrected Jesus because she waited at the tomb for some time. Fourteen years after the death of Jesus, the Jews put Mary Magdalene and some other Christians in a boat without any sails or oars. They drifted out to the sea and reached the shores of southern France. Mary Magdalene spends the rest of her life there in a cave known as Sient Bueme. Legend says that she was transported miraculously to the chapel of Saint Maximin just before her death and there she received her last sacraments. Pope Benedict XXI spoke about Mary Magdalene in his address before the Angelus, referring her as a disciple of the Lord who plays a lead role in the Gospel. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us.